Modi ji adopted and brought home a small little baby crocodile, like a magarmach. Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's interesting because I think that was practice. Because uh, now that he's in politics, he still plays with crocodiles. Right? PM Narendra Modi releases on the 24th of May. And today I have with me Vivek Obroy. I am the producer of the film Sandeep Singh. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, you know, I think it's a brave, brave attempt to attempt a film like this, which is on a man who is, you know, known on such a wide scale. He is the PM of the country. For you to put your capital in a film like this, for you to be that man, did you ever feel like at any point you've bitten more than you can chew? Because the challenge is a lot harder than maybe what you thought it would be. Not for a moment, actually. I Never. think uh, I've known Sandeep for what, 17, 18 years, and he's come to me multiple times with scripts, and we've had long chats and discussions about them. And at the end of it, I said, Sandeep, ye nahi karte, mm -hmm. kuch aur karte. Okay. This was the first time that uh, Sandeep came to meet me, that too ad hoc, arbitrarily, just landed up on my set in lunch break, came into my makeup van as I was uh, chilling, and said, uh, Bhai, do minute baat kar sakte? I said, mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to make a film for PM Narendra Modi. Pe and I want you to play it. And I took very long to think and decide, all of 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> 30 seconds later, I turned around and looked at him and said, I immediately said yes. And uh, uh, once I said yes, then he caught me. You know, like how you've seen Vikram and Betal, no? <laughs> he jumped on me, <laughs> leather, didn't let me go. It was completely your idea then to make the film. Yeah, it's not it like, like Umang came to you or it was... No, no. Nothing. We went we, to Umang. We both decided to go to Umang. And uh, Umang was not very convinced initially to mm -hmm. direct this film. I said, but why, you know? Because he said, bro, I'm making biopic after biopic. I'm tired of oh, making yes. biopics. I just want to do something else for a change. And I said, dude, you are the biopic expert in this country now. Mm -hmm. Live with it, man. Be proud of it. And we, this is as big as it gets. Yeah. Because the story is so fascinating. Mm -hmm. Sakshim, I mean, uh, the kind of stuff that happened in his life, in PM Narendra Modi's life, yeah. Yeah. was almost, I mean, what a struggle it was for us to put it into two hours, 15 minutes in an entertainment capsule. I'm sure. It was so difficult. Yeah. And when he was like told about this, the PM, that we are making a film, I'm sure he must have seen this coming because in the era of biopics, he must have sort of known that one day someone will go and make a film on his life. So when you people told him, what was his reaction? But who told you that we <laughs> went to him and we told him? I'm sure the PM must have been told that a film is being made on him. No, this is or an he had no idea. We never went to him. They never asked anything. Okay. There are so many people who have written books on him. There are so many people who have made regional films on him. Yeah, right. There are so many, uh, so many people who have made short film on him. Mm -hmm. So everybody can't go to PM office and stand there and ask for his permission and write it. Right. It is about, and look at the dignity. We were not asked to change anything. We were, there was no interfere. There was no call from them. Nothing. We decided to make the film. Mm -hmm. We have made the film and now we are releasing the film. Okay. In it fact, was as simple as that. I remember during Gujarat days, they used to be, even then he was such a hero and so popular hmm. that there were people always saying, make a film on him, make a film on him. And once I asked him also, okay. and he laughed it off. And in all humility, he said, Itne bade bade log hai. you know, Dinda, Lupadhyay ji, Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, un par film banni chahiye, mujhe to kaam karna hai. You know, I loved that about him. He mm -hmm. didn't want that glorification or deification. So it's quite contrarian to, you know, what's being pushed mm -hmm. about him generally in the public image. He's a very humble man. He's a very humble man. He's a very humble man. But, you know, Vivek, to play a man, see, there are professionals who are just there to, to analyze his behavior. There's a certain way he turns and his, the creases on his face. There are professionals to analyze that. To be that man, there's no margin of error. Sure. People will be like, Oh, he is like PA, the PM or he is not like Right. What was the prep? You're saying you never met him for the prep, right? Because he was never more... Or did you? So basically, you want to know anyhow that, that whether we have met him or not. <laughs> I love the confusion. That's like, did you? Did you not? I, lo I love that. I love that. It's quite cute. Vivek is um, very intelligent. You know, Lara actually said once that uh, Vivek is so well-read that you tell him that this is a candle and he'll go back and tell you when was wax invented. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Now that is a conversation oh, I want to have with him. That <laughs> doesn't sound like well-read. That sounds like boring. Oh. They're rare these days. Oh, wow. Take a so all this talk about the film being a political propaganda, what do you have to say about that? You know, you have to admit the fact that it's a, it's releasing at a time when the topic is very sensitive. You know, whether it's intentional or not is not what I'm asking. I'm saying people are saying that it's a political propaganda as makers and being the leading man. What is your opinion on that? Sakshama. Yeah. We are tired of lis listening to that this film is BJP funded film. Okay. <laughs> Modi and Amit Shah is supporting this film. Mm -hmm. And 
it's a propaganda film. Okay. We have made this film so that BJP wins. Yeah. We will add to the votes of BJP. If that is the case, why can't they stop entertaining everywhere and going everywhere and doing the rallies and, mm -hmm. and start making just a simple film and impress the voters and they will vote for them. It's very simple. Right. So yeah, I think it's a valid question. But I want to be clear that ours is not a propaganda film. In fact, I believe that there was a propaganda against our film. Okay. Like politically, I feel that one man, mm -hmm. PM Narendra Modi, yeah. stood against so many opponents trying to attack him like a pack of wolves from all sides, right? Like a Mahagadbandan. And I felt somewhere that even against our film, we had a Mahagadbandan. Okay. Suddenly, we had these big political leaders that we look up to and hmm. have so much, you know, they have so much clout in this country. They have mm -hmm. built political parties around their personas. And then they were attacking a humble little film here. Yeah. Mm. I was wondering what they're scared of. It's just a film. Is it a ridiculous thing to think that it's Don't a Don't you think? I mean, and this is the this is the set of people that talk about intolerance and freedom of speech. Mm. Why are you being intolerant towards a film? Towards a film. I there mean, was no what support was the fear from the it? industry also. Do you think it's 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 they support their friends or they choose their battles in terms of what the film talks about? I, I don't think so. I think overall mm -hmm. And Sandeep might differ on this, but I feel overall, we as an industry yeah. have not been very united. Um, so I feel people that have said. I, I feel that it comes from the days when Dilip Saab, Devanand, when they used to take political stands and decisions, there was a lot of action against them. So we've lived in that period. Mm -hmm. The industry has dealt with you know political drama where people coming heavily on them and you know having cases or trouble or any kind of harassment politically against the political master, so people stay away from it. Okay. And I think uh, it's sad mm -hmm. because it's a new India. Yeah. We need to be able to speak our mind. Mm -hmm. We need to receive and accept all ideologies with equal respect. It's okay. a democracy. And we need to stand united as an industry, especially on issues that matter, especially okay. on issues like free speech and freedom of expression. Okay. And the election commission calling it a hagiography, is it, is it completely ridiculous as well? Hagiography, by the way, is uh, the biography of a saint. Cult following. <laughs> the Modi cult. That's what they said. <laughs> yeah. And I was quite amazed. I was quite... I wanted to ask them, sir, where did you do uh, a course in cinema to critique <laughs> our <laughs> film? I really wanted to ask them. Yeah. It's quite funny because we wanted to do a premiere with yeah. all our friends, family, members of the media and we were doing a premiere at the election commission with nine people we didn't know oh God. who were watching our movie for the first time. Right? Just no because bragging. few hours of the premiere, yeah. we got the notice and police were coming and they were saying, sign kar dije, wahan sign kar dije. And then I see big dabbas are coming to my place. Okay. And all my staff is sitting, I said, yeah, dabbas, dabbas having what? what? So I said, oh. So there I come from, there are 1300 samosas which PVR has sent us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we are sitting with that on the 10th of April. And I just called, I said, okay, why have they sent samosas? He says, sir, because you had booked it. So where do we sell? Now we are empty, so we are sending it to you all. So, How so sweet of them to not waste the food and at least. Exactly. Aapne pay kiya to aap now sad for us to sit with 1300 samosas alone. <laughs> what did you do with them? Gave them uh, to Chai <laughs> Samosa and chai, perfect combination, yeah. <laughs> it is a perfect combination for sure. You uh, were um, uh, you were a student politician. You've said before you right. uh, you were an NM, sorry, Miti Bai College, uh -huh. um, and you said that that was the, that was the era or the age when I decided I don't want to get into politics. Right. Why was that? Well, I just loved acting more. It's as simple as that. I decided that abhi neta nahi, abhi neta. <laughs> oh, nice. So I enjoyed that. I I just loved acting, yeah. I did a lot of crazy things when I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, like? Student politics was one of them. Even though it was decently good, my name's still up there on the board as the General Secretary of Mumbai University, mm -hmm. and member of Senate. Uh, and I stood uh, independent mm -hmm. of any political party, uh, which was just not the norm. And there was a lot of violence in those times, actually, uh, in student politics. Really? So, yeah. Violence? A lot of violence. Like, lot of violence like yeah. what sort of well, violence? You know, they just pick you up. They say, okay, are you standing for elections? You're not standing for my party? Okay. Oh, like we'll pick ragging? you up from your house. No, no not ragging. Then? <laughs> they used to pick you up from your house while you're going to college, coming out from your home. They'd grab you, put you in a car or a rickshaw, take you away somewhere to Virar Vasai, further out, somewhere, Lonavla, somewhere. And they'll lock you in a room till the election's over. And people are filing missing complaints for you. So stuff like that. There was an attempt twice to 
उठाओगी राजनीति है भैया उटेंगे Modi ji adopted and brought home a small little baby crocodile like a magarmach yeah right? yeah yes yeah. so great you don't know about this but it's in public domain he brought it home okay. and his mom of course refused and said are you kidding me where did he even get know, it from yeah, you know they they're pretty common uh, in in that part of our country in gujarat he brought it home and his mom freaked out said you know <laughs> what what's, is this what is this you brought a magarmach ka bachcha home and then uh, he took it to school And apparently, oh uh, all the kids and the masters ran away. <laughs> hey, this is this is one one anecdote Side like that, which we've tried to capture in the film, which is quite cute, and uh, it's interesting because I think that was practice, because uh, now that he's in politics, he still plays with crocodiles, right? Okay, uh, I have to ask you. Uh, I'll give you the names of seven politicians, and so you have to tell me if like biopics were made on them, uh, who would be the, the appropriate actor to play play that part. Both of you can give your takes. Okay, first one, Indira Gandhi. Even if the movies have been made, you can give your takes. Indira Gandhi. Someone who's like a solid Kangana. Yeah. Kangana. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Powerful woman. So. Yeah, strong eyes. Yeah, power. I agree with you. Even the the slight wiriness and everything, the power. No. If you, if not you, who can play Narendra Modi? Vivekanand uh, Obroy. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Wow. We didn't plan that. <laughs> Mamta Banerjee. I think uh, Rani Mukherjee. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rani Mukherjee. Oh, Rani Mukherjee can play fierce. Very strong. She can play fierce. Lalu Prasad Yadav. Vivekananda. <laughs> <laughs> you this is your safe choice. Hey, you listen, can't do this. You have to take the You're the guy from Bihar, dude. <laughs> you would play it better than anybody else. Uh, Rule number. Lalu Prasad Yadav. Who, who would play Lalu Prasad? Yadav? I think Parish Rawat. Yes, yes, yes. Fine actor. What and an really actor! Really fit the role and played brilliantly. Uh, Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi. I named an actor Rahul Gandhi. Okay. <laughs> Sonia Gandhi. Monica Bellucci. What about you? I'll try with Priyanka Chopra. And Amit Shah. Um. And that's a role I'd love to play. You would love to play Amit Shah. I think. Uh, It's fascinating, man. He's the Janaki of today. Mm-hmm. The way he's built the party from the ground, yeah. the way he knows booth level, the way workers are—you meet BJP workers; they're so inspired by him. Yeah. yeah. And the power of the man. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, however you say, mm-hmm. you know, people have different views on him. But the power of his ability to create a mass movement of workers uh, that work down to the booth level, mm-hmm. like he did a. a uh, campaign called mera booth sabse mazboot yeah. i think this was all revolutionary yeah. digitization social media connectivity of course there is the guiding force of narendra bhai mm-hmm. and the amazing thing about him is he is equally humble he never asks for credit he never goes out there and says me he he praises party he praises the workers he praises his leader narendra bhai he praises all these people that to me is fascinating to be in the seat of power mm-hmm. and yet never be um drunk on that power net never to feel addicted Correct. to that power mm-hmm. you know that is it takes a very strong man for that all right vivek and sandeep thank you for talking to us and giving us your time all the best for the film and people please watch the film in the theater do not watch the pirated version buy the ticket and watch it in the theater 24th of may Absolutely. all the best to both of you thank, thank you, you so much, much. thank you